Nikolai Lockertson of Oslo, Norway calls himself a tablet artist. He creates his fantasy images on an Apple iPad Pro. He started using it in 2015, joining the growing number of artists stitching paper and canvas for tablets. Their gallery is the internet. I have more creative freedom, I feel. I, I don't have to scare about ruining anything. I can be more loose. It's a much more uh, free way to work and I can undo if I need or transform whatever I'm doing. It's more creative and more free, I would say. He's created a global community around his YouTube tutorials. Hi, I'm Nico. And the characters are uh, really what gives your scene scale. He explains his techniques and what software he uses. One of his favorites is the Procreate painting app. It only runs on Apple devices. That keeps the competition at bay and boosts sales of accessories at the same time. Even world-renowned artists are using the iPad to paint. Among them, David Hockney, one of the 20th century's most prominent artists. One ingredient in Apple's recipe for success is clever marketing. The company didn't invent graphic tablets and digital pens, but it did turn them into cult objects. Carsten Lem has been closely following Apple's development. He worked as a tech reporter in Silicon Valley for 16 years. Apple never sold products like others do. It sold experiences, starting in the 1980s with the Macintosh. It was fun because it wasn't hard to learn how to use it. If I was an art director and I wanted to make my great vision a reality, I wouldn't want to get bogged down in the equipment. And that's what Apple always emphasized, it just works. It just works. Apple's always had a finger in the film industry pie. The Filmic Pro app turns the iPhone into a video camera. Competitors like Android only reacted months later. There are even festivals for iPhone videos. For Apple, it's an important marketing tool, attracting prospective customers with a taste of professional movie making. And it helps to justify the extra cost for Apple products. Ad agencies were quick to catch on. They use the iPhone look to give their ads a more modern edge. TV reporter and video maker Matthias Stun is even using his smartphone camera to shoot a whole mystery series. The advantage of shooting with an iPhone is that it's a whole toolbox in my pocket. I can do so many things with it, not just shoot video, but edit right away or add effects and get really creative. It gives a lot more people the opportunity to try video making and maybe even to become the next Steven Spielberg. He uploads his short films straight from his smartphone to platforms like Tumblr, so they'll find an audience on the web. Apple's sales may be falling, with the competition looking over its shoulder, but its graphic tablets are still top sellers.